Hi everyone and welcome to this episode 3 of The Viking Way, which is currently in early access. Um, so last couple of episodes to recap, um, thanks for joining us. If you're enjoying this video then please do subscribe for more episodes. Um, just to recap where we got to, we started out at Ribe, um, we went up to Kalpang, we got a mission to go to York, we then died horribly being jumped by a, uh, a fleet of bandits and had to restart the game. Um, ended up exploring, going back to Ka Kaupang, and then exploring down the south coast here, discovered another city called Dorstad, uh, worked our way back up the coast, got to York eventually, managed to get a whole little fleet of ships um, under our control, and a decent force, it's sort of starting to feel like a little bit successful now, went up the coast a little bit, and we got a mission that one of these stones, basically kind of like... Uh, Kind of like the Infinity Stones, you've got to try and collect nine of these magic stones to make this this powerful artifact to rule the world, basically. Um, one of them is in York, but the guy won't give it up unless we go and get his wife a dress from all the way over here, apparently. Some kind of special exotic um, eastern dress. So that's today's mission, is we're going to be heading across the ocean, um, back around the coast through the Baltic Sea, and that's our destination for today. In terms of uh, what we've got, in terms of our fleet, we've got the Na, the longboat that we picked up in the last uh, adventure at the end there. Uh, our traditional uh, starting cargo boat, which used to be our um, flagship. And then the three small boats that we picked up as well along the way from various little raiders who tried to attack us. So we're going to uh, set sail. Let's see who these guys are. Oh yeah, they're... Well, they're not our enemies, so... I don't want to make any more enemies at the moment. We've really got two... two factions that really don't like us. So, uh, we'll... We'll let them go for now. See, I'm outpacing uh, a lot of these little ships. Do you know what that means yet when you get into combat if your fleet's all split up? Does it mean that only the guys who are on my ship are going to be able to take part in combat? I'll have to see. Hopefully I don't end up in a nasty situation. Maybe what you might do is swing by our home base of Rive on the way back. Just see how they're doing. Maybe, uh, see if we, ooh, thank you, 400 silver. And that originally was 200 and something when, um, we started the game, but because I invested in my hometown by giving them some money, they now pay me back more each time that, uh, the time ticks over and it, it makes me a payment. It's kind of, kind of worth doing in the long run. You see, that looks like it might be a bandit camp there. As nice as this sea is, I think it might be just a little bit over the top. Kind of like they need to calm the sea down by about 50%, I think. Ooh. There's some, some ships there. I wonder whether we can actually... I know you can search an area. I wonder whether we can... What's going on? Who's attacking who? Oi! This is another longboat. I wouldn't mind picking up another one of these. Oh, yep, here we go. Yeah, come on. Oh, okay, you guys go ahead. So many of them. Somebody 
issue. Let's see if we can swing back and get that. Yes. Oh. Okay. Um. So fleet. And abandon that one. Yeah. Can I get it now. Yes. Nice. Well, that was definitely worth the, uh, the little detour. Give you an idea, I think uh, these ships sell for, I think it's something like 20,000 um, silver from memory. Now, what I was going to do was pop over here and have a look at this area here and see if I can actually like search this wreckage. Because there is this sort of search icon here. Can I search this area? No, found nothing. Yeah, maybe not. We've upgraded our troops there. Uh, let's go take out this looter hideout. Keep these guys under control. Yeah. Pretty low. Pretty low uh, threat compared to my force now. A bit different to back in episode one and two, where uh, taking out these looters could still be a bit of a challenge. Now my guys just sort of steamroller through them, just numbers, but also uh, having more elite uh, forces. Oh, what's that? Golden plate. Oh, that's not actually worth that much. Ooh, a bit rough. Swing by the village here and see if we can pick up any uh, recruits while we're at it. Before we pay for more of them at the town. No, they're still out. Gosh, it's been like a month or something and they're Still haven't got any more troops for me. That's not really good enough. Okay, so let's go to the merchant and sell that gear. Check here. I know I've got a, a shield like that, but uh, yeah, here we go. There you go, Eric. Nothing going about whether I buy anything there, but I've got, I think, other stuff I want to spend money on. Like, I need to get some troops. Invest into the town. It is worth paying a bit more. And we'll see about giving maybe some of my better off guys. War Maiden. So 
support infantry. And then uh, it might just do. Oh, check the meat house here as well. Right. I'm just going to save our game before we head off on this epic journey. What have we only got? We've only got. 1400 gold. I'm probably going to save that. Where are we going to go? How do we get there? So we follow the coast up and around. And that way. No idea how much this dress is going to cost either. It's probably going to be ridiculously expensive. sailing over here that looks like some kind of cargo ship a couple of guys to upgrade yes please okay some trim our sails get a bit more speed yes here we go What's even more valuable is potentially the ship that they've got there. So again, what I might do is abandon this little one and then so it's a cog. You see, the cog can take up to 12 sailors, so that's a massive increase in our um, number of guys that we can take. Yeah, these are the guys that belong to this faction that we're going to, so we don't really want to uh, attack them. We'll be friends for now. So 
first thing we'll do is we'll fix these ships. Oh, not enough silver. Oh, we did get that expensive stuff to trade, so... Ooh, armor 15, maybe we do want that. Let's just check that armor. Oh, I got 17. No, so I don't want it, but we'll give it to Eric. Now we can repair our ships. And I know there's some villagers on the way, so um, I'm not going to buy any more guys, but let's check out the mead house while we're here. Maybe it's because your sister likes me, you can ask it. Okay, so medicines, Trousseau, Dublin and Nantes. I don't know where those places are, but uh, sure. There's Dublin. Uh, there's Trousseau. Oh, we're on the way to Trousseau, kind of. Where's the other one then? Uh, no, all the way down there. Okay. Well, we could swing into Truso on the way, I guess, you know, anything for a pretty lady. Gosh, getting expensive to keep this crew supplied now. some settlements to take over so that we can actually get some more money coming in. We're pretty close to capacity now. Not amazing loot, but uh, but still worth something. Oh, you 
want to take us on, okay? Forty one versus eight. Archers are dying. Those archers are expensive. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's actually a cog, so I might actually grab that. Oh, it's sunk. Darn it. Oh, motherboard's sunk. Ah! That's not ideal. Well, at least I'm going to come here and check out this gear. 34. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome helmet. They're ready to upgrade. Lund. All right, what do we got here? Cargo boat? I think so. Let's see if we can capture this one. I'm not going to shoot it because I don't want it to sink. Oh yeah, looks like all my forces came this time, so that's good. We will capture it. All right. So what's this big town over here then? It's not the one we're trying to find, is it? No. But where is this? We've got some guys to upgrade too. What 
is our party limit at the moment? 48. Oh yes, we can easily take another 10 guys. We sail again, eastward bound. In search of a pretty dress. Ooh. This could be promising. A couple more of these long boats. Wouldn't mind upgrading. Especially since we haven't got any cargo to lose right now. Yes. Oh, don't destroy it. Ugh, my town's under siege. Let's see if I can be a bit sneaky here and drop one of my cargo boats. No, can't do that. because it takes a, a pop-up box to do it. Right, so got that one. And then... Come back 
For this one. Yes. Almost destroyed. All right. I need to get back. Wasn't that place I wanted to get dressed? No. It was further around Truso. Ah. Okay. Truso's gonna have to wait for now. Uh, thirty-seven troops are drastically needed. Maybe we can go this way, swing through Lund. Yeah, I'm coming as fast as I can. Pretty sure. Yeah. Give you that armor. There's not a faster way, is there? No. We're gonna have to go all the way around. Oh. No, I hope we don't lose the town. That monastery. Really need some more guys. Better to rush there with 43 and be outnumbered. Yeah, you're too expensive. Come on. Fifteen warriors with each upgrade. Oh, nice. We got ourselves a uh, Valkyrie as well in there, I think I saw. Yeah. Come on, just hold out a little bit longer.
here we are. Join the battle to, to defend it. Yes. 52 versus 65. We're best to stay inside the walls for now, aren't we? Are they coming to attack us? Oh, yeah, here they come. Just, uh, just catch him a breath. It looks like we're doing okay. Ooh. I'm gonna just stay behind here. One stray arrow and, uh, I'll be dead. Yeah, you guys, uh, you go... Oop, somebody's shield went flying off that way. Yeah, you guys go deal with that lot. It looks like they're a little distracted now. Man, those archers are just picking them apart. Do I try and get them back here? See if our archers can pick them off, maybe. Hmm. Well, guys, um, it's just you. It's just us now. Maybe they'll run out of ammo. If we're lucky? Maybe? You got one of them. Yeah. Well, you were doing well. And they're just, um, sitting there. Well, I'm not sure what we can do, because if we go out there, we're going to get picked apart by those archers, and we haven't got, we got one guy. 
and he's standing all the way back there. Um, Oh well. Come on then. Oh. Well, that was uh pretty predictable. Maybe we might be able to, um, I mean, hopefully the amount that are, yeah, they've got 14 guys besieging them now. Hopefully I can rustle up enough guys to just defeat that 14. Oh, are you kidding me? It's next closest village. All the way down there, isn't it? Well, this is not going the way that I planned. Uh, and there we go, bribe is lost. So, never mind, we will reclaim it again. troops. Well, that was a massive, I mean, all of those guys that I'd invested so much training and money into. That's those two, those two ships, those two enemy ships that we saw last time patrolling this area. <laughs> Kick us when we're down, that's really not a great time to be tangling with them. Uh, maybe they're going to go fight those guys instead. They're knowing our current luck, they'll probably team up to become a super armada and uh, Then we'll have to deal with a lot of them. No more recruits. Uh, yeah, but these guys. Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay. No, there's 19 of them. Come on. Come on, there's 19 of them. Leave them alone.
Seriously, we've got 14 guys, leave them alone. I might actually just do, uh, do a couple of upgrades if we've got some money as well. So our flagship here put auto fixing on. But we'll also reinforce the hull for that one as well. And I don't really want to lose those ships after I've only just bought them. Well, when I say bought, I mean acquired by potentially not really legal means. So there's this little one village up here on the coast that I sailed past before and I didn't get any guys. But that might be the only other place within reach that I can pick up some more troops and try and take my town back. Let's head over to the city here, it's uh, Kalkang, let's go there, see if we can hire some more guys, we're probably not going to be able to hire very many since I just spent all that money upgrading my ships, I was hoping for some cheap peasants, I just hope it'll be enough to take on the defences of this town. sell? No. Alright, here we go. Let's go check out the status of my hometown that's been captured. See if there's any hope for reclaiming it with my 20 troops, 4 ships, 5 ships. It's all recruits and peasants. We're a pretty uh, shabby force. Just me and Eric. Have I even got Eric still? Yes, I've still got Eric. Right. Ah, Eric, you're uh, becoming a bit more powerful. Uh, 
24 guys war maidens norse archers huntresses oh we can't take that on all right so we're gonna have to uh seriously gear up before taking on these guys in the meantime i'm gonna take my anger out on this little looter hideout Off you go, guys. Go get some experience. Well, at least they have enthusiasm. So I think we're going to head back up to up to Kalpang here and uh, and base ourselves out of there for now, given that they're not hostile to us. Try and get some more troops. Maybe uh, head east as the original was plan plan was. Finally, find that shiny dress and uh, get those medicines for uh, Eric's hot sister. Uh, but I think that'll be episode four, perhaps if we have to try that finally be able to come back and get our vengeance on these uh, these outlaws who dared to take over my town so I'm gonna think I'm gonna go and uh, head there in Riyadh so thanks for watching and say if you enjoyed watching this game um, you want to see more episodes make sure you hit that subscribe button drop me a comment below say hi uh, let me know what you think of the game do you think it sounds interesting are you tempted to pick it up uh, have you already played it and had some cool adventures in what happened in yours? Let me know in the comments below and uh, as always, thanks for watching.